What's happening YouTube, Batpool here, and I'm back with another Mall Combat 11 video, and due to your suggestion, we're making our last MK1 character in Mall Combat 11, and that is the final boss of the game, and that is Shang Tsung. So to make the original Mall Combat 1 version of Shang Tsung, for the bracers, <laughs> You're gonna want the arms of the fiendish sorcerer. Which is kind of more like cloth wraps. Either those. Or maybe something like. Bracers of Onaga's Might. Which is kind of more scaly. Which makes sense because it has Onaga in the name. You can either do those. Or even spirit stealers. But it makes them yellow. And we want them to match the color of the skin, which is blue. And there really isn't any other bracers for Shang that kind of match that. So you kind of want to go with those. And then for scrolls and his soul canister, he doesn't have any original games, so I just kind of went with ones that look more like Chinese, kind of. This is brown back dragon spells. But you can go with anyone you think would look best. And then for a soul canister, we went with Sinol Sink Oil. That one could work as well. But it has Kronika in the name. So that's why I kind of want this one. And it kind of fits the aesthetic. For skin, you want Practitioner of Devilry, which is one of his old skins, obviously, because he was old in the original MK1. You can also go with the Ancient Magus, but that's more yellow than blue. You want it to be more blue than yellow, which is why I went with this one. For intros, I went with the default one. Because he can shape shift into characters. And then for victories, I would go with maybe here this one, which is his default, where he shoots out the classic fire skulls. Either that one or the Your Soul is Mine. That's more of an MK movie. Your soul is mine. Kind of pose. So you can do that one because this is Kari Tagawa and the old man skin. So if you wanted to, you can pick that one. There's also this one, but that's more of its MK2 pose. Which I do actually have a MK2 version of Shang in this. But that can be saved for a later video. If you want me to make that video. Put it in the comments below. Then for his abilities you just want the first variation which is Warlock. Where he throws his skulls three times if you amplify it. And where he shoots flames from the ground and they go up in the sky. Here. So that's why you want to go with those. Which is his classic moves. Same goes for the MK2 version that I made. I have the same abilities. And then for the variation name, you can go with the one I have, which is more come out one. Or you can do it like how the old the other characters that are in the original MK1. You can name it MK1 and put 1992 on it. Which I think would be best considering I also have a 2023 version of Shing. Although it's not complete since we haven't seen full gameplay of him yet. And then for variation icons, you want the one where it has the old man Shing. So. You can go with this one, the one I have clipped right here, 
We can go with this one. Or this one up here. You need to see it better. You can do the white version. But I like the gold version the best. So any of these three can work. But I won't with this one. Because it fits more of the skin right here. And that is how you make the MK1 original version of Shang Tsung. That's all of the original MK1 characters that are playable in Mortal Kombat 11. The only one you can't make, obviously, is Goro because he's not playable in this game. Thanks for watching this MK1 characters Mortal Kombat 11 series. I'm Batpool, and I'm out of here. Enjoy making these original MK1 creations in Mortal Kombat 11.